encounter was let's say you encounter deeply religious person. Masaya. And it's okay siya. It's okay siya. And then you can sense na, ah, I think I disagree with you. Do you, do you say why? Well, I don't think what you believe in is necessarily the right thing or you may be misled by your church or, or whatever. What do you do? Do you tell the person that maybe you should have Maybe you should have doubts, or you should let the person alone. Say, what's your name? Tarawe. Okay. In your name, it's Tarawe. In my experience, my experience, so, as a little more. In my experience, it's not always as a moon or as a question. Even example, sabi mo, nakapita ka rin sa religious person na sa Yesha. Definitely, if we think or religious doesn't care, yan mo yun kung masaya ka, problem mo yun, ba? Yan mo yun eh. But, Masaya, hindi naman ako ngayon, di ba? Ganoon naman yung araw, di para lang tayo magsaya. Ngayon, ang problema ko dito, di ka sa buhay ng religious person, ako ngayon masaya, masaya rin siya. O, masaya siya, sabi niya, Hallelujah! God is with me, Jesus Christ! Amen! Hindi ka ngayon nag-amen. So, God is with me, o hindi ka nag-amen, di ako naniniwala dyan, hindi nag-gulat ngayon siya. Hindi ka naniniwala sa Diyos, ang may problema ka. Yung tatay niya, ikaw yung may problema eh. Ako ah, ewan ko sa inyo. But it is always when a person say that he doesn't believe in a God, may problem siya. Alam mo, kung problem sinabi niya sa akin, yung tao, yung masaya kami ang parehas, ha? Pero hindi ka ako ngayon, naging problematic na ako, dahil wala akong Diyos, yan, meron. Alam mo, sabi niya sa akin, galit ka sa tatay mo. Kutos na ako. Ito ako naging part, nire-repair yung sa party mo. No, bigla ang problema ngayon. Kanina, pareho kami masaya. Ngayon, lumalabas niya, bakit? Are you done? I need to. Okay. Uh, good. 
it they uh, according to you. Okay? So I'll take it according to him. But the problem is it is written on their books that a non-believer one is a sinner, a non-believer will go to hell, a non-believer is a fool, a non-believer is a kaawa awang nilalang. It is it is all written on their book. If you if you you read Psalms, if you read the Quran. In Quran, there is even a word that like a non-believer say, non-believer, you don't have to to talk or to do to, to do anything with a non-believer. It is written in their book. Huh? It is better to be a Christian for a Muslim. It is better to be a Christian or to be a Jew than to be a non-believer because a non-believer is one of the most greatest sin to Allah. Okay, it's written. You know, some preachers must study their holy books. Do you read their holy books? Yes. Um, uh, something to tell. Um, I, I don't think that... I, I think you have a somewhat unrealistic view of the average Christian. Uh, as someone who knows a lot of Christians, uh, I, can, I can assure you that most Christians are Christian in name only. They go to church on Sundays, maybe they believe in God, but they don't know what is written in the Bible. Most Christians. Well, most Christians don't hold on to their dogma that I do. Of course, there are some fanatics that are really super dogmatic, but uh, most people are Most people would not fight you just because you're different from them. Okay, uh, guys, uh, the food will, might get cold or cold or the consistency might change. So, so let's take a short break. Let's, let's take it back to your seats. A little bit of time will start to let. A little bit of time start to Like if you're a good person, you're crossing that the These are 